King's Cross was once Sydney's most notorious area, known for its seedy bars and other red light shenanigans. But there's no more red lights around here. Okay, there may be one or two, but tonight I'm wandering down a dark, seedy alley in the middle of King's Cross looking for entertainment of the innocent, fun-filled kind with dressing up. Good evening, my liege. I'm here for dinner. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the wonderful world of Barrett. Thank you. This looks like a laugh. Farron's is Sydney's first and only fancy dress restaurant with a treasure trove of wigs, hats, and props. Its eclectic setup makes me feel like I've tumbled down the rabbit hole where anything is possible, even meeting Snow White. Well, this place is completely crazy and somebody has to be responsible. As it turns out, it's this man right here. Bobby, how you doing, mate? Holly, mate, good. How are you? I am doing awesome. This is great. So, you know, this is exciting for me. It is very exciting, isn't it? <laughs> are, you, are you excited too? I'm very excited. Well, look at it. Packed restaurant, fancy dress. We're going to have a blast. Well, Bobby, I guess my first question is, how did this whole sort of Tharon's experience come about? Well, lots of drinks, mate. Um, no, seriously, we bought a, uh, an Austrian restaurant which just had some straw hats in it and uh, we slowly developed it, bought some more hats, decided to put the girls or all, all the waitresses in normal normal clothes with a, just a hat on and then we developed into getting more hats and then we started making our own hats and then we decorated the whole place and then finally we just got a girl in costume and we thought to ourselves, why not just have all the staff in costume? So all the staff came in costume and then a magician came and then a drag queen and boom, this is what we've got now, final product. Well, it's quite the eclectic mix but I mean, you know, over time you've developed into this sort of theme restaurant, but what's the theme? The theme is what you see really. It's hats, masks, feather boas, wigs. It's where people can come and actually have fun. There's a lot of places in the world and in Sydney where people go and they don't actually have fun. They pretend to have fun, whereas they can come to Tharon's and they can really let their hair down. They put a hat on, they become someone else for a while and they have the whole night just really letting themselves go. And it's about six hours of fun and that's what we want to do. Now, this area, King's Cross, has been known to have a bit of a reputation. Uh, how do you think, like, Tharon's is fitting into that? And how much has King's Cross changed over the years? Well, King's Cross has got a reputation. I think Tharon's fits in really well. We're quite a unique venue. Um, we're quite a Sydney icon, really. We've been here for that many years. And about King's Cross, well, it has changed. I've been here for 10 years now, and I've seen there was nothing around bar us. Um, now there's nightclubs all over the place, you know, it's the coolest place to go in Sydney. Um, all your B-grade celebrities um, are out hanging in the bars. Um, and yeah, just beautiful people, so it, it has come a long way. You know what, this whole place looks like a real laugh. Do you reckon, I mean, it'd be a waste if I didn't stay for dinner, is that okay? I think it would be a waste, mate. Cool. Come through, I'd Thank love that. Thank you very much, but just dinner, I'm not that kind of girl. Oh, uh, you will be later. Whoa, okay. Farron's is unlike any dining experience I've ever encountered. Once the wigs and hats come on, the party animals come out to play. The food was delicious, a delicate French-inspired three-course delight, starting with a scrumptious prawn ravioli. Next up, I had myself a rosemary-infused chicken with cream leek and grained mustard. It was so good. But it was the dessert that was all show and plenty of fury, that famous bomb Alaska. I was entertained by their in-house magician, Liam, whose sleight of hand inspired me with a little magic of my own. As for the highlight of the experience, Prada Clutch. Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Prada Clutch, and I'm your hostess with the most this evening. Please make me feel welcome. She's Theron's outrageous six-foot-tall drag queen and entertainer who had me dancing and gave me more than my fair share of attention. Lucky me. How are you, gorgeous? I'm shorter than you. You are a lot shorter than me, I hope. But look, it doesn't matter when we're laying down, though, does it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can everybody say hi, Ollie? Hi! I was getting a lot of loving from Prada and the crowd. Oh, hello up there. How are you? Oh, this is better for me, too. <laughs> But really, there's no stealing her thunder when it comes to hosting. And he did decide to wear the same colour as me. Yes, he just went to the hairdresser and had it done. And look, I mean, it looks better on me than it does on you, but that's OK. That's OK, because, you know, I'm a natural purple, and it's that colour everywhere, let me tell you now. <laughs> you know what? That was an outrageous amount of fun. That has to be the perfect balance of food, entertainment, and dressing up that I've ever had. Time for you guys to take a break and for me to try and figure out what is I've forgotten. I, I kind of feel like I was supposed to return something. It, it'll, it'll come to me eventually. I just...
It's a mystery.